So today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPad. Now this will work for the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi and 3G version. All you need to do is simply go to spiritjb.com. As you can see I've downloaded it. Once you download it you open up the app, click jailbreak and basically that's it. You do nothing else and uh, you can see <clears throat> this one took a little bit longer than my other iPad. Um, now Obviously, it can vary from iPad to iPad. Now, this one took quite a while to get the jailbreak through. My other one was really quick, like within 10 seconds. Um, so, it just depends what iPad you have. <clears throat> now, just for people who want to know, this won't... I mean, this is a relatively safe jailbreak. Very easy to do, as you can see. Um, I'm literally doing nothing. You can see it on the screen there and me doing nothing. It just does it all for you. Now, you're going to reboot and it will come up with a custom background and it will install uh, Cydia so that you can install custom apps that you want. So there is the uh, Spirit custom background there and I will just go ahead and show you the status bar there. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, it's done. That's all you need to do. Uh, it's a great jailbreak as you can see. There's Cydia. Uh, it takes a while to reorganize, but once it's done, it is great. So, I highly recommend this jailbreak. Uh, it's excellent. You should really go and check it out. As you can see, um, I'm all done. I'm just going to go ahead and unlock it here. Go into Cydia to prove that it has worked. And I'm just going to hit user, graphical only and it'll go ahead and update everything so it works perfect um, had no problems with it highly recommend you check it out so just a real quick warning about jailbreaking your iPad is that uh, very few apps in the City or App Store are actually compatible with the iPad and I don't believe they actually have an iPad section just yet so you need to be very very cautious when installing these apps because they may not be compatible uh, some iPhone ones actually are compatible but some can crash the uh, springboard on the iPad which can be a major annoyance so <clears throat> just be careful I uh, got an app for four ninety nine, I believe that will let you do multitasking it's called Multiflow, M U L T I F L zero W, uh, that runs for four ninety nine US, I believe, and it works, but as you're probably going to see, not very well. Yeah, so while it does work, it does function, doesn't function the best or to its best capabilities. So you need to be careful when you're buying something like that. And also, I got. Uh, uh, I think it's Infinity Dock or Infinity Board, uh, one of those. But it lets you add more icons into your dock here. However, sadly, when I rotate this, you can see there's a big gap, which of course is a glitch. Now, I don't believe that they're going to give you a free update. So if you if you need these apps, get them. But if you don't, definitely don't get them. Um, now. Of course, multitasking was huge because the 4.0 for the iPad isn't going to be released for a while. And uh, to use Skype and have that background enabling, you can talk to somebody while you're playing, let's say, Angry Birds or Plants vs. Zombies HD. Pretty big feature for me. But um, if you don't need it, uh, like I said, don't get it because they're not perfect. And they're not really perfected just yet. Um, so it is usable definitely and you can see City here. Now that's not the final release uh, for the iPad as you can see. They may have UI changes, that's not the final release. However, it does work and it does function and yeah, if you want to try it, go ahead and try it. But just be warned that a few of them are uh, not compatible with the iPad and may crash it. So yeah, just a stern warning. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more.